All right, so we're going to do a little solitaire playthrough of Orchard. Uh, I love this game. It's very cool. It comes with uh, 18 cards for more variability, but you uh, you only need nine of them, right? And I'm going to show you how this plays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You put these other nine cards aside. So we're going to be using only these. And uh, the first thing you do is take one card and just put it at, on the center at the table there. That, that's how you're going to start playing the game. And you're going to take two cards for yourself. And uh, the goal is to get, uh, you're going to get rid of all these nine cards and try to harvest as many uh, fruits on there as possible. I talked about this game, uh, I did a quick little review of it, and I mentioned grapes, right? I thought that was weird because these look like trees to me, but they're, I think they're plums, right? It makes sense that they'd be plums, apples, pears, and plums. Anyway, so you start with these two cards, the one on the table, and as I play, I'll show you how the game is played. So the idea is that I want to um, uh, overlap as much as possible, right? So I'm going to try to play this quickly, and uh, we'll see how it goes here. Because I'm going to be getting points. The goal is to get as many points as possible by overlapping, by basically harvesting uh, these fruits. So uh, let's see what I can do here. Could do... I'm trying to get three of them, but I, no, I won't be able to do it. If you overlap uh, a, a tree that doesn't match, you have to use one of these uh, spoiled fruit tokens. But if you use these, and sometimes you'll have to because it'll get you more points, right? Uh, you'll lose actually three points for each one of these that you use, uh, you know, at the end of the game when you're figuring out your points. But uh, the reason you'll ha sometimes have to use this is because you might have a die, because what happens with these is they start on one, and as you overlap, they go to three, six, and then 10. So you might get an opportunity to get you know a lot of points, so losing three points by using one of these is not a big deal. Like for instance, if I were to overlap here, um, well, whatever, I'm not gonna do it now. So I'm just gonna overlap these two, uh, I guess they're plums, right? So what I do is I take the two purple uh, dice and I put them on one. All right, I got this one left. What I do now, take another card. Now I look at my options. If I, if I go over these two uh, purple trees again, those dice uh, jump to three. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Um, so I could do, let's see, I'm looking for like uh, yellow, purple, do I have that? Yellow, yeah, there you go, look at that. Yellow, purple, and red, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, and then the red will go right there. So as I overlap these cards, uh, this card, I've overlapped that purple. So now this purple jumps to three, and that means I've harvested three uh, plums, I guess. And I also put a one here on the yellow, and I put a one on the apple tree, the red tree. Now we take another card. Let's see what's doing. Um, so maybe I'm looking for, I don't have that. I was looking for two yellows and a red there, or two reds and a yellow, but uh, oh, look, um, I can do that. I could overlap all these, right? I won't because I will have two that don't match, right? Uh, and that would be bad, and I would actually lose that three die there if I uh, happened to do this, because these would match up here, the middle purple would match, but anyway, uh, let's keep going. Um, let's see what we can do here. Maybe I have a purple, red, and yellow, and I do right here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I got the purple, the red and the yellow. I'm going to overlap it right here. That means this red jumps to three. And I also get to add a purple, uh, wait, yeah, purple here and a yellow here. Now, if you know, there's a finite number of uh, fruit, right? So if you run out of dice of that particular color, then you, you just not, you know, you're just not, even if you overlap, you're not going to get the the points for it. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. I would love to have like red, yellow, and two purples. And I do, uh, 
I do right here, yellow, red, and two purples. It's exactly what I'm gonna do. I hope you can see this on camera. So let me move these here. Right, I'm gonna overlap these right here. So this jumps to a six, this jumps to a three, this jumps to a three, and uh, I get one red there. This is such a cool uh, little solitaire game. I really like it. All right, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, you can see, I just checked. You can see that there, that's good. Because sometimes, you know, it doesn't take a lot of room, but here on, on the camera, it may, you know. So uh, again, I'm looking to overlap. It would be awesome if I could get two purples there. Um, I uh, can't do that. So let's see what I can do. I got two yellows and a purple there. Maybe I can do that. You know, for video purposes here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, I could probably think about this a lot more and come up with a better solution, but I wanted to show you guys the, the playthrough of this. It's really cool. So because I overlap that yellow, then it jumps to a three. Now I go ahead and add a one purple. And by the way, the little flowers here, uh, you know, the little leaves don't mean anything. I put a one there and I will put uh, another yellow one there. All right, I think we got uh, just three more cards left, that's it. All right, let's see what we could do. So far, I haven't spoiled any fruit. Um, would love to get this. Oh, gosh, this is in the center here, so it's harder to, um, to find a combo that'll work. Let's see, I got two. What can I do here? Do you guys see anything? Um, I could do these two reds here, but really, I'm looking to overlap. I want to overlap. Um, let's see. Can I do this? No. What can I do here? I don't want to spoil any fruit. Can I do that? Let's see. Two purple? Nope. That would spoil the fruit there if I put this here like this. Um, should I spoil the fruit? Yeah, let's do that so you guys can see how it works, okay? Uh, wait, that would spoil two fruit because that would hit that one too. So bad idea. Not gonna do that. Um, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Do I have a purple, yellow, and red? That would be good. Purple, no. Though that one would turn to a six. Let's do this for uh, game purposes. Wait, uh, do I have a better option here? Darn it. Um, can't do that. Uh, let's see. All right, let's do this for game purposes, right? So I am gonna get a, a spoiled fruit here. Wait, what was I thinking of doing? I was thinking of doing this and then getting a spoiled fruit here. Not not a great idea, but you know, for game purposes. Uh, six, that goes to a six. I put the spoiled fruit there. I can no longer cover this, all right? Because once you put a spoiled fruit down, that's it. And now we're getting to the end of the game. Uh, I gotta place these two cards. And let's see, uh, let's see the best I can do here. I'm looking for two purples, two yellows, let's see. Uh, can't do that. Boy, what am I gonna do here? Um, my cat's going nuts trying to get out. Um, you're not gonna go out now, Tiki. Give me a minute. Let me finish doing this. I'm in the middle of a, a very tense orchard game. Um, so, uh, Tiki, give me a minute. Uh, so let's see, I could do that, but that doesn't give me a lot of points, you know? I'm looking to get more points. Uh, I don't want to do any more spoiled fruit. Mm, this is the other way around. I can't really use that. Boy, this stinks. Well, I can't cover that anyway because it's got a spoiled fruit there. So, let's do... What the heck? Let's do this. We'll get two more points there. We'll get a red. And a yellow. And now i got to place this... I know I didn't play the perfect game here, but I just wanted to show you guys how cool this is. Look, I can do this. And I have three dice, right? Right there. So I can do that, and I can get one point for each of these. So one point here, one point here, one point here, 
and one point here. Now, what do we do? We add this up. And here, the, the handy dandy guide tells you, um, you know, this is pretty cool. Uh, and it's kind of cute, right? Whatever your score is. So we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, minus 3, that is 27, uh, uh, 28, sorry. So 28 is quite uh, quite bad. It's for get a pull, right? That's really bad. So I could have done better, uh, but I was trying to get through quickly here to show you how this game plays. Um, I love it. And what's cool is that you see the nine cards there. You could just put these cards aside and you're ready to play another round of Orchard. A very cool solitaire game. I love it. Go get one.